The community comes together in Wilmington, Delaware today to talk about solutions to the epidemic of gun violence. Our Shante Lance is in Wilmington right now with more on this collaborative approach. Shante? Okay, the group is called the Wilmington Community Advisory Council. It's comprised of about 30 groups, and tonight organizers say they're making significant progress and bringing down the number of shootings. It's really sad. That's how some Wilmington, Delaware residents feel about gun violence across the city. A shooting near West 6th and North Jefferson Streets in Wilmington, Delaware sent a 28-year-old man to the hospital. He's expected to survive, but that broad daylight shooting happened on the same day a group called the Wilmington Community Advisory Council met at Howard Technical High School to discuss the root of gun violence throughout the city. Many attendees can relate to the impact of shootings like Wilmington resident Calvin Bland. He lost his 20-year-old cousin, Troy Morgan, to gun violence on the west side of Wilmington in 2013. And sometimes it's still hard for me to talk about. According to Wilmington police, there have been 89 shootings last year, which is an increase from 72 in 2018. That's still a 46% drop compared to 165 shootings in 2017. I believe that the um, Wilmington Community Advisory Council has helped significantly. Henry Smith III is the council's chair. He says the group started in 2016 after Wilmington officials invited the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to examine crime in the city as a public health issue. After a few years of studying, the CDC recommended starting the council. The group compromised of about 40 organizations throughout the city meets about every other month. We bring together uh, individuals who represent organizations that can impact the issues. Wilmington City Council President Hanifa Shabazz, who helped start the council, released a statement reading in part, What I am most proud of is that through the work of the WCAC, we are identifying the root causes of crime, fostering partnerships, building capacity for strong community engagement, and promoting resiliency. Now, police numbers show that there have been 23 homicides in this city last year, compared to 35 in 2017. Reporting live in Wilmington, Delaware, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. So Shante, thank you.